I mean, let's be frank, she looks like she's dressed as a bin bag. Douche. <laughs> the Quran Lee app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Sitting in front of the camera and just speaking to you guys has been so long overdue. And I must say, I do miss it. <laughs> yeah, but on the other hand, I hope you have been enjoying the Speaker's Corner videos. And what a video to make a comeback to. Kim Kardashian, I mean, let's be frank, she looks like she's dressed as a bin bag. And this <laughs> bin bag ensemble has been designed by a brand called Balenciaga. She's done this ahead of this year's Met Ball Gala. Yeah, some fashion thing that she attends, yeah. And according to this article, check this out, yeah, the only hole that she has is for her ponytail. How on earth is that woman breathing in there? It's clear that the woman here is oppressed. No. It's clear that she has become a terrorist sympathizer. No. Well, I mean, isn't she hot in that? Yes, maybe, most likely. Well, it is clear we need to ban this. Yeah, we need to take our MPs away from dealing with the homeless, dealing with poverty, and get them to ban this bit of clothing. No. Why not? You seem to be defending this woman. Do you not value women's rights? Have we not been fighting for it for centuries? Why are you holding our people back? Because it's fashion apparently. <laughs> well, you should have said so. It's fashion. Kim Kardashian, yeah, I can see for the pony. You should have said. <laughs> Hang on a minute. How is it any different? Well, because she's free. She's a big woman. She can make her own choices. There's consent there. It's, it's okay, you know. Ignore what I was saying beforehand. Because she's free to make those choices? She's old enough, she can give consent. Okay, okay, okay. Let's apply that to Muslim women then. Muslim women want to wear the hijab in Europe. They can be banned. Muslim women want to wear the niqab in Afghanistan. In fact, they are marching to make this clear to the world. Oh, they're still oppressed. Only three women in Latvia wear the niqab. They're doing people no harm. Nope. Even if it's three women, the politicians will put aside poverty, will put aside abortion, will put aside theft, crime, murder. And these three women need to be put back into their free place. So they're free, but they're not free. Uh, yeah, there, there we go. Plato, you can take your logic and stick it in your pipe, mate. But if Kim Kardashian turns up in a let's face it, a BDSM, sexually perverted leather ensemble. She seems to be the peak of liberation and freedom. A woman marries herself and this doesn't raise eyebrows and goes, yeah, something's gone wrong here mate. Like, let's, let's analyze this. Nah mate, she's dealing with what's going on up here. So it's okay. A four year old boy who decides, yo, I'm a girl now. Scotland's like, it's cool, it's okay. After you finished eating that crayon and urinating on the wall, you can decide that, no problem mate, yeah? It's up to you. You can't vote though because you need to be responsible to vote, yeah? You can't join the military because obviously you're too, you're too young yet, but you can decide to switch genders and all that, that's, that's flipping okay, yeah? So guys, in Islam, women have a hijab. Men also have a hijab, so women's covering, it's the whole body except the face, the hands and the feet. For men, it's from the belly button to the knees. And also, men and women are told to keep their gazes low, not to interact unnecessarily with the opposite gender. Why? Because modesty itself is a prerequisite to the preservation of the family unit. And the family unit is highly regarded in Islam and highly valued. And because of that, it preserves the sacrosanct roles of the mother and the father. 
That's right, because in turn, it benefits the kids and without a sturdy family, you know as well as I do, society descends into chaos as we can currently see. Let's leave it there guys, until next time. Assalamu alaikum.